later over the next day or so. Tomorrow, though, I think in most places we'll see a bit of both of those through the course of the day. Tonight, we'll see a few clear spells developing. Not across the southeast, though, because the rain's going to linger on here. It's going to be slow to clear away. A few heavier bursts. Showers still running into western parts of the UK, but temperatures dipping to about two or three degrees in the towns and cities as skies clear. A little bit of frost on the grass and on the cars first thing tomorrow. But the sun should break through quite nicely in most places. Showers will bubble up, though. And there'll be a few heavy ones around through the middle part of the day. Perhaps some hail and thunder turning up. And some winteriness in those showers, especially across the northern half of the UK, where we could see a bit of snow down to lower levels, but certainly across the mountains. A chill in the air, fairly brisk wind coming in from the west. Temperatures 7 to 9 degrees, typically perhaps up to 11 in the southeast. But it's just during Sunday night and into Monday that things really start to turn nasty. An early warning from the Met Office of severe gales. Initially, those gales coming in from a southerly direction through the early part of Monday ahead of this band of rain. Not just rain either, there'll be some snow over higher ground in the north particularly. And then through the second half of the day, we get another blast coming in from a westerly direction this time, affecting particularly the southern half of the UK. That's not good news because it's going to coincide with high tides along those western coasts. The flood line number 0845988118. I'll have more on that for you during tomorrow. Claws out tonight. We've got severe weather.